Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, not too good. Not too good. Hey, how good are you at Bible trivia, man? Not too good. Not, <laughs> you want to trust your hand? <laughs> All right, here's here's a quick question for you. How, what's your name, man? Fred. Fred, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. You too, Fred. Uh, how many books are in the Bible? How many separate books are in the Bible? Thousands. Wrong. Get to take it a little lower. A little lower? Yeah, a lot lower. A lot lower. 66. 66. That's all. It's all. Just 66. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, you like different. I thought more than that. Okay, here's, here's one. Can you name the first five books of the Bible? Nope. Okay, let me give it to you. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. All right. Okay. Can you name the four Gospels? Nope. You know one of them? Pentecost. Mm. Okay, let me get it. You want to hear those? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and... John. John's a good one. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Now, here's, a, here's a tough one. Who's the oldest man in the Bible? Do you know who the oldest man in the Bible was? John the Devil. Nope. Begins with M. People used to say you're old. You. Nope. You say you're old as... The stool. That's Yay! Good job, man. You got that one now. <laughs> good job, Fred. Good job. All right, man. Who wrote, who wrote the most books in the Bible? John the Devil. Nope. Nope. Begins with P. P. Yeah, it begins with the letter P. Oh, P. Paul. Oh, Paul. Yeah, Paul. Paul. Okay. All right, now look, we're going to switch over. Tell me if these are in the Bible or not, okay? Boy, God helps those who help themselves. Is that in the Bible or not in the Bible? In the Bible. It is not in the Bible. Believe no. it or not. No. Nope. Nope. Number two, God is angry with the wicked every day. Is that in the Bible or not in the Bible? Not in the Bible. That is in the Bible. Psalm 5.5, 5, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this one, but you hear this a lot. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Is that in the Bible or not in the Bible? In the Bible. That is not in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one for you. God works in mysterious ways. Now you've heard that. I've heard that a thousand times. But yeah. is it in there or not in there? It's in there. It is not in there. Can you believe it? That's right. There okay. are many mysteries in the Bible. Right. But yeah. not that particular here's, thing. Here's one more. God hates all workers of iniquity, like people that, that actively participate in sin. Is that in, in the Bible or not in the Bible? It's in the Bible. It is, that's right, absolutely. Last question. Does God consider you to be a good person? Yeah. Okay, do you know what his standard is for good? Yeah. Ten Commandments. Right. All right. Ninth Commandment, he tells Fred, Bill, and Me. Chris that we're never supposed to tell lies at all. White lies, big lies, little lies, whatever. Right. How many lies have you told in your life? A bunch of them. Okay. <laughs> so have I. Yeah, sure. I, I've told lies. I've sure. cheated, I've cheated on tests. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, oh. Now, yeah. if, if Bill lied to me, what, what I, would it be safe if I called him a liar? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Because he did it. It's I like a that, criminal yeah. who gets caught for stealing. He's a thief. They charge him with being right. a thief. You know? Right. And there's another one. Have you ever stolen anything regardless of value? Um, ballpoint pen, sheet of paper, yeah. money, anything. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, that makes you a what? A thief. Thief. Yeah, a thief. A thief. Sure. Now get this. This is one Jesus gets most people with. He said, you heard it said old that you shouldn't commit adultery. And he says, I think he aimed this one right at guys. He says, if you look at a woman and lust after her, that you commit adultery you, with that in woman your heart. in your heart. Okay? In your heart. So mm -hmm. have you ever looked lustfully at a woman? Like, not saying she's cute, but having like sexual thoughts towards a lady. Yeah. Sure. Most, yeah. most men have. I we think we're 99.9%. We've all done that. Right. You know? And, okay, another one Another one that he says is that we're never supposed to use his name. It's like a curse word or a swear word. Yeah, no, you use the name in vain. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like a G word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah exactly. like a GD yeah. word. Yeah, boy. So have you ever done that, Fred? Yeah. Have you used it? Yeah. Okay. A bunch of times. Sure. Now, now, God calls that blasphemy in the Bible. He says he's not going to hold any of us to do that guiltless. He's, right. he's going to hold us guilty really for doing guilty. that because he he says that um, you know that he's holy and perfect. He's never done nothing wrong. And so if we went around insulting each other's mothers, we'd probably be in a fight in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right and now. he's so good and clean and pure. What do you think he thinks about using his name as a curse word? He hates it. You know. Yeah, he doesn't like it at all. So so far that. so far, Fred, I'm not, I'm not judging you, you know, but I'm just go, I'm going to repeat what you told me. Okay. You told me that you're a liar, a thief, an adulterer, and a blasphemer, at home. and you've got to face God on Judgment Day. Right. Yep. Is He going to see you? If He judges you by all the commandments, is He going to find you guilty or innocent of breaking His Ten Commandments? You yeah. think you'd be guilty or innocent? Yeah. Guilty. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, God is 
good in him. Something I got to work on. <laughs> right. Now think about this. He says that that he will not let any sin go unpunished. Right. Okay. So even even the very best person, if he sinned against God, he's going to get punished. That's the great thing about God. He's going to judge us all the same way. Black mm. guy, white guy, short, tall, fat, it make no difference. Doesn't Rich, difference. poor, we all get judged by the same standard. You know. Right. So if you're guilty before God. And he has to punish them. What do you think he sent you to heaven or to hell? Hell. That's right. Yeah, and that's hell, and hell for eternity. That's right. A long. The way I'm trying to go. Yeah. What do you What do you, what do you know like, What do you know about hell? I mean, what's What's uh, What What do you remember from hearing about hell? Bad thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a place of terror. Yeah. It's that's a right. place where the worm never dies. Right. It's a place of darkness and heat. Right. Torment. Yeah. Torment. Pain and anguish. Torment, agony. Pain. Yeah. So here, here's, here's, here's a question I always throw out, and, and Frank, because we, we, we both care about you. We don't want to see anything bad happen to you. And if you were standing in the road and there was a car coming, I would grab you and pull you out of the street so you wouldn't get hit by the car. And in the yeah. same respect, you've got God's wrath bearing down on you right now. Now, you're probably in your 50s? 54. 54, 54 okay. 54, okay. We never know what day we're going to die on. You know, um, never know. it's, it's uh, five points. I've been coming here for years. It's a very dangerous neighborhood. A lot of crazy stuff happens down here. You know that as well as I do. It's, right. you know, people die down here all the time. Yeah. So, is your is whatever the sin in your life more precious to you than Jesus Christ? Nope. That you would you want to turn from it and trust in Him right. immediately? Yeah, I do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because think about this: Have you ever been in court before? Yeah. Okay. When you get tried in court. Is the same kind of it's, it's a kind of a mirror or a little image of what happens to us in the afterlife. Is that we got crimes against us, things that we've done wrong, you know, like uh, stealing or murder or whatever, you know, yeah. whatever you want to court for. Yeah. The judge usually demands like one of three things: either you get sent to prison, you got to pay uh, money to get yeah. off the hook, or you go on probation, depending on how severe the crime yeah. is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Something has to be paid in order for you to go free for the law that you broke. It's like a payment for your crime, right. you know. Right. So in the same respect, God demands a payment from you and me, and it's almost like uh, it's almost like our payment that we try to offer Him if we try to live a better life is like, for instance, uh, if you went, at, let's say we went over here to the Burger King and we got a hamburger, mm -hmm. and one of the sesame seeds had poison in it that's on the hamburger bun, yeah. okay? And we ate it, and we fell over dead. We wouldn't touch that hamburger if we knew it was on there. Right. If we go before God and we say, God, I'm going to try to live a better life from here on out, we're handing him a poison hamburger because it's tainted with sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, he can't accept sin. He won't accept it. But he demands perfection from you and me. And the way that we get perfect, or the way that we become perfect before God is that we put our faith and trust in Jesus and turn from our sin. Right. And then he gives us a command after that. And this is where the rub really hits most people. Because most people, if you bump into them on the streets, they'll say, yeah, I believe in Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. But God commands us to go and sin no more. Right. He wants us to stop sinning. He wants us right. to turn from sin once and for all. He wants us to know? And right. the, Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, uh, if, if, I was, if I was a professional thief and they arrested me and took me to the courthouse, they said, Your Honor, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't do this anymore. If you let me off the hook, I promise I'll never do it again. Right. And then the next day, I go and start stealing again. I was not really sorry, but I just want to get off the hook with a judge. Right, right. <laughs> and in the same respect, well, God, he demands that a real sign of a true belief right. in somebody is that they stop, they turn from their sin, you know? So that's why you come in, you come in, like you meet people down here, and they say, oh, yeah, I believe in Jesus. And then you see them getting high five minutes later, mm -hmm. or you see them, you know, trying to score one of these women that walks around here or right. something like that. But their, their faith is not real, you know? And so, um, you know, just like that car that's coming down the street, Man, we beg you to, to repent and put your faith in Jesus, you know. Yeah. There's nothing more precious than, than your soul. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, right. It's tough. So what yeah. do you think you need to do, Fred? Straighten up. Yeah. You need to put your trust you in Jesus. You need, to, you need to have somebody take that crime off of you, man. That's what Jesus did. Yeah. You know? He took all the crime for you. So on Judgment Day, you won't have to say, I tried. You say, Jesus did it all for me. Yeah, you go. Right. You know? That's right. I got free on Judgment Day because of what... Not what I did, but because of what, what Jesus did. Yeah, you know, do you remember what happened to him on the cross? Do you remember some of the stuff they did to him? Yeah, put nails in. Yeah, in yeah. Hand, oh, in right legs, there. The legs, right. feet. That's right. They stabbed him with they a spear. Him with a spear. Yeah. They put the crown of thorns on his head. Now, those, yeah. they say those things stuck into his head. You yeah, know? those thorns were like about two inches long. They were, they were really long, huge thorns. Mm -hmm. They beat and him he, half, to, half to death, really. They, yeah, they, they yeah, beat him so yeah, hard. Yeah. I mean, so, he, before he died, he put he put all your sins and Chris's sins and that things on his shoulders. Right, right before he died, and uh, we've got to you've got to accept him. 
as your Lord and Savior. Right. You have you have two choices on this planet. You can either accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and repent from your sins, or you can just ignore it. But if you ignore Jesus, when you die, it's, it's man's uh, fate to die once, and then there's judgment. Right. And if you're if you're on the other side of that judgment, you're going to be in hell for eternity. Right. There's no second chance. And there's no second chance. We got to make that decision while we are on this planet, while we're exactly. on this earth. Right. We've got to make that decision. Have you ever made that decision? Oh yeah, I, I'm a pedicop. Okay. Okay. So right. you, here's here's a question for you, Fred. If you died right now and and you were standing before the the very gate of heaven and there was a man that controlled who came in and came out uh -huh. and he said Fred why should I let you in the, into heaven what would you say to that man I said well uh, I've, uh, I've turned my soul and my life over to you to God and Christ okay. mm. to the best of my life right okay okay you accept the Christ as Lord and Savior right now, now now we've got to work on the repentance part of it and being good yeah, there you yeah, go. That's, that's, sometimes that's hard for men to, there it is. to, to do that. There it is. And, uh, but you gotta, you got to make an attempt at it, and you got to try. And although it's a struggle, you right. still got to do it every day. you got to right. pick up your cross, Jesus says. Uh, well, what you know, happens when you get tempted? What do you, what do, you do? Look the other way. Run. Flee. Right, flee. When you get, when you get Ask the Lord to, for, for, to, to save you from, from temptation. Temptation, yeah. And uh, Fred, that's hard sometimes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes. Now, do you have a church you go to? Mm, not really at all. Mm -hmm. I ain't too long moved here. What's I, that? I ain't too long moved. I'm new here. Oh, okay. 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 I've been here like three months. Okay. Where, where we do we do a uh, Bible study over here at McDonald's at Alabama Four Strike every every Tuesday at five thirty. Oh, yeah. y'all do? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. We come in there. There's about there's about uh oh, about ten of us today. Yeah. Okay. You know, we just read through the Word, study it, and mm -hmm. have some good time. So you're in the neighborhood next week, come on by, man. We've been coming yeah. down here for I've been around this neighborhood for ten years, so yeah. I know a lot of people yeah. around here. Yeah, okay, I do that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on down, and join us. Okay. All right. I do that. Sounds good, man. So where are you going to be next Tuesday at 5.30? Uh, the living doesn't happen. McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> there you go. All right, Fred. Right. Thanks for talking right. to us, man. Thank you. That's why I give me some water. Go there you go. <laughs>